Just he, Floyd don't never he feel as though I'm about to I'm about to I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29. You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, that's that the deal, part that's of the deal. He, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that's exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. going to come out. Jervonta Tank Davis has launched a verbal attack on Floyd Mayweather in a recent event. Meanwhile, it appears that Davis may underestimate Frank Martin's challenge, unaware that the ghost has been getting guidance from none other than Floyd Mayweather. Ahead of their upcoming bout, tensions have escalated with plenty of verbal jabs. Exchange between the fighters. Despite this buildup, Tank remains the clear favorite. In a recent episode of the Pivot podcast released on YouTube, the undefeated underdog disclosed advice reminiscent of Mike Tyson's style imparted by Floyd Money Mayweather to Frank Martin. This guidance aims to give Martin an edge in his upcoming clash with Gervonta Davis. Mayweather has consistently supported Davis despite their past disagreements, and Davis has generally held respect for the former champion. However, the dynamics appear to have shifted with the Davis-Martin bout, particularly following their widely publicized online clash last month. When questioned about Martin's insights gained from Floyd Mayweather ahead of the fight, Martin responded with some interesting things. Martin mentioned that Floyd might suggest going for a run at two in the morning morning because in most cases they knew their opponent would be asleep at that time Floyd, like what has floyd taught you about fighting and has it made you a better fighter because he could tell me all day to do that shit he does i couldn't do it yeah you know what i'm saying like what what does being around a guy like floyd do for you he could tell you uh man go run at go run at two in the morning you know go do it when because because nine times out of ten we know your opponent sleep at that time so go run at two in the morning and go get yourself a mental edge you know like because you know you out there working every night at two in the morning running that's a lot of the times your opponent sleep you know it could be it could be little things that'll take you to the next level you know that floyd a person like floyd like if he tell you that martin didn't necessarily have to train during those hours but he saw it as gaining a mental advantage over his opponent these small details often lead to significant differences in the long run as martin pointed out he acknowledged that it wasn't something entirely new or monumental but hearing it from floyd who has reached the pinnacle of the sport martin mentioned that taking heed of this advice would provide a different type of motivation when acted upon tell you that you gonna take a lot of heave to it and you gonna, it's gonna give you a different type of motivation when you're doing it. He could show you something, you know, and, and it could be the same thing. You know, you might not be able to do it like him, but just it coming from him, it'll give you like a different type of like feel about yourself. With Tank's recent comments, he also added that even when Floyd shows something, a boxer might not be able to mimic it perfectly, but it'll give you a different type of feel about yourself. Interestingly enough, Mike Tyson employed a unique pre-fight routine to gain a psychological advantage over his opponents. This dedication contributed to him becoming the youngest heavyweight champion and later the undisputed champion. His regimen included early morning runs and chopping wood, among other activities. Despite Tyson's and Floyd Mayweather's training insights, Jervonta Davis remains undeterred in his fight night plans as asserted by Tank himself. After a year-long absence due to a hit-and-run incident in 2022 that led to a 90-day stint in a Baltimore prison, Davis returns to the ring. Despite this hiatus on his record, his boxing prowess remains sharp, at least according to the sport's top figures. His victory over Ryan Garcia in April last year showcased his enduring skill, and he anticipates a similar outcome in his upcoming bout against Martin. While appearing in the face-off segment of PBC's promotional video for the fight, Davis said, Frank Martin is tough, he's fast, strong, in his prime. He's hungry, and he's coming to win. He's a great opponent, he's going to be champion one day. Just not June the 15th. It remains to be seen, though, if Davis's skills have been impacted by his lengthy sabbatical and jail sentence. That being said, the truth of the matter won't become apparent until the fighters go into the ring. We know that Frank Martin and Gervonta Davis are closely acquainted. They will be filled with fond memories from their time spent training under Floyd Mayweather when they enter the ring. The two had differing accounts of what transpired on a practice day. Frank Martin disputes that Tank has his own. Davis once recalled, When I was in Floyd's gym, we used to train with everybody, so he saw me take people out of the ring. He saw me hit people, so when we spared, I squeezed him because I knew he was scared, and I didn't want to get caught with his best punch, his left hand. And once he caught me with his left hand, that's when I got mad. Tank further added that he caught Martin, who then started grabbing him. Tank jumped on Martin, and it turned into a wrestling match, because Martin kept grabbing him. Tank noted that it was good they were fighting now. He added, I caught Martin, and then he started 
started grabbing me after that and I jumped on him and it turned into kind of a wrestling match because he kept grabbing me. It's good that we're fighting now. We can blow off some steam. Martin, of course, has his own version of events. He said, Tank is a pay-per-view star, one of the best guys in the world. But there were some things he said that were lies. There were things he said just to say. When we trained, there were a lot of people in the gym. He came into the ring and wanted to play. I hit him with my brick hand. Boom, he felt it. Martin warned that people came in to break up the fight, but Tank kept trying to put him in a headlock. They were both just trying to hurt each other. Martin warned, people came in to break up the fight. Tank kept trying to put me in a headlock. We were just trying to hurt each other. Talking sh doesn't win fights. But when you go in and fight, that's where you say everything. On the other hand, Leonard Ellerby plans to closely watch as Gervonta Davis faces Frank Martin with the lightweight championship at stake. One of boxing's brightest names, Davis can advance to more important fights with a victory over Martin. There are several weight classes in which Davis can compete, and the Baltimore native might be involved in several exciting matchups. Ellerby has voiced his opinion on one of their major matchups versus Shakur Stevenson. He said, Trust me, Shakur is going to get that work. He's asking. He's going to get that work, but it ain't what he thinks it is. But I can't wait for it to happen, though. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis and Errol Spence recently aired their grievances in a fiery exchange. Spence, the ex-welterweight champion, was about to share his thoughts on the fight when Davis interjected firmly, Hell no, he ain't getting to chat. Spence then replied, Shut your up. You talk way too much, bro. Davis then claimed he backed up his social media words, to which Spence continued, Who have you backed it up with? You back it up with who? You don't fight nobody, bro. You're here for a check. Spence continued with his verdict, insisting Martin would win, before Davis interrupted again. How do you know that? Y'all can't be in the same place at the same time. You know Martin's sparring partners are ass then. You know too that he is also ass. Spence manifestly disagrees with Davis's assessment that he will easily overcome Martin to maintain his perfect record. Along with coach Derek James, the truth is a member of the Challengers team as they attempt to pull off a historic shock. It wasn't the only heated moment during the press conference. During their face-off, Davis also gave Martin pause, almost causing a riot, as he is ready for his first bout since stopping and dropping Ryan Garcia in their major match in April 2023. Davis is in excellent shape. Under Floyd Mayweather's supervision, Tank has already spent his opponent. Both parties characterize the encounter as chaotic, and basing that on that, Davis thinks his opponent will be scared of his might once more. He added at the event, I'm going to break you up. I'm going to split all that up under your eyes. Every time I tell people, something is going to happen, what happens? It hasn't even hit him yet. He'll see Saturday. It's going to hit him, especially when I touch him. What is he bringing to the table that I haven't seen? Tank further added, Frank's shaking up there. He was talking tough yesterday, when it was just him. It's going to show. He's a front runner. He's just worried about not getting knocked out. He's not worrying about winning. He's trying not to get knocked out. Meanwhile, Floyd Mayweather recently took to Instagram to update his fans with a post showcasing a promotional poster featuring UFC fighters Alex Perez and Tatsuro Taira, who are geared up for a flyweight showdown at UFC Apex in Las Vegas. Interestingly, the poster prominently displays June 15th as the date of the event. But wait, isn't that the same date when Gervonta Davis is scheduled to face off against Frank Martin at the MGM Grand? Nowadays, fans are well aware of the ongoing online feud between Mayweather and Davis. Could this be the reason? Mayweather shared a UFC Fight Night poster? Some speculate it's an attempt to divert attention from the PBC Amazon Prime PPV event featuring Gervonta Davis and David Benavidez as co-main fighters. Judging by the comments, it seems many fans believe this to be the case. Boxing Kingdom's tweet read, Floyd Mayweather is now telling his 30 million followers to watch the UFC on Saturday night. That was where they stopped talking. Maybe followers and admirers are intelligent enough to make their own conclusions. Indeed, Indeed, one person questioned why Mayweather shared the message. It has been a while since fans saw the former mentor and mentee publicly engage in conflict. Gervonta Davis split from Mayweather promotions following his bout with Rolando Romero in May 2022. Initially, their relationship was amicable, with the Mayweather camp fully supporting Davis when he faced Ryan Garcia about a year later. However, signs of strain in their bond soon became evident. Initially, Tank was displeased when access to the Mayweather gym was restricted. Later in the year, he took offense to comments Mayweather Jr. made about younger boxers. In subsequent posts, he referred to the former world champion as a hater. Davis alleged that Mayweather Jr. was avoiding certain locations due to financial issues. Mayweather Jr. responded by posting a video of Tank dancing. Later, Mayweather Jr. posted an Instagram image with a cancelled stamp across the Gervonta Davis Frank Martin fight poster. It appears that the identical post has now surfaced on his Instagram story too. Followers have a limited time to view it before it vanishes. However, 
However, judging by the comments, it's clear that numerous people were displeased with Mayweather Jr.'s actions, especially if they were indeed targeting Gervonta Davis, as one user pointed out. This follower boldly exposed Money's assertions about promoting top PBC boxers alongside Al Heyman as deceitful. They suggested that the former world champion might not favor Gervonta Davis's prominence in the sport. Expressing disappointment with the situation, they speculated that this could be why many boxers are departing Mayweather Jr.'s stable. The fan said, This is why when Floyd says he owns the PBC stable of fighters with Al Heyman, it's all cap. He just doesn't want to see Tank shine. This is just sad. This is why everyone is getting away from Floyd. You can have all the money in the world, but deep inside, be miserable. The follower pointedly remarked on the irony that even with immense wealth, one could still experience unhappiness. This commenter said, Floyd is so insecure and petty. Never seen a rich and successful grown man act like a child like he does. The subsequent follower remembered being sharply criticized by a Mayweather Jr. enthusiast for mentioning a comparable observation. As previous Previously noted, the unbeaten former world champion seemingly opposes Tank Davis, reaching the pinnacle of boxing. Their rift is largely unrelated to financial matters. Following the uproar from John Gotti III's fight last year, Floyd Mayweather Jr. has refrained from stepping back into the ring. Speculations initially swirled around a potential rematch with Manny Pacquiao, followed by discussions of a bout in Mexico City against his former rival, Victor Ortiz. However, the boxing icon's next move continues to await official confirmation. The controversy lingers over whether Floyd Mayweather sought to divert fans' focus away from a key boxing event. Yet, for numerous enthusiasts, witnessing two revered figures in boxing, embroiled in a public feud, is equally disheartening. Perhaps they have since reached a mutual understanding and resolved their issues once and for all. Yet again, Floyd Mayweather said the Gervonta vs. Frank fight won't happen as ongoing tensions continue. He announced via his Instagram story that the Davis vs. Martin fight was cancelled. The tension between Mayweather, a former world champion, and Gervonta Davis, the current pay-per-view star, seems unlikely to diminish anytime soon. This marks Mayweather's second declaration that the event is canceled amid escalating accusations from both camps. Just a few weeks ago, Davis had warned Mayweather of potential physical confrontation. He's out here scamming people again, while sharing a WBN story of Mayweather stating the fight was off a few weeks ago. He added, taking money from people again, referring to plans to fight in Mexico on August 24th. Davis added, he's one of the greats though, he made a billion dollars from the sport. Where did the money go, Floyd? He said it was canceled, and it's not true. Keep talking, and I'll pull up to your house now and lay hands on you. Mayweather and Davis once shared an unparalleled connection between fighter and promoter. However, as circumstances worsened, they turned to undermining each other instead. Premier Boxing Champions has yet to comment on the potentially risky fight situation. Various media outlets present at the event, such as Alan Dawson from WBN, are not verifying Floyd's exaggerated assertions. Meanwhile, Tank just shared on Instagram, if you sign with this fraud, he will f*** up your career. He is not a good businessman at all. Meanwhile, before one of boxing's brightest stars squares up, things don't seem right between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis. We know that Tank is said to have gone his own way in recent years. After their apparent falling out, Davis doesn't seem to be a fan of Mayweather anymore. Speaking to ES News and others at the pre-fight press conference, Davis said, I love Leonard Ellerby. I don't like Floyd, mother I like Leonard. The relationship between Davis and Mayweather, who were once mentor and protege, apparently deteriorated after Davis left Mayweather promotion some time ago. Although it started off amicably, Davis publicly expressed his frustrations in interviews and on social media as the breakup became more and more acrimonious. The core of their dispute appears rooted in their divergent personalities. Mayweather, recognized for his extravagant way of life and strategic business decisions, has frequently faced scrutiny for placing more emphasis on financial profit than on the integrity of the sport. It's conceivable that Davis, a more aggressive and younger boxer, dislikes what he sees as Mayweather's oppressive influence and control. The rivalry intensified when Davis charged that Mayweather was trying to ruin his career by tampering with future bouts and planting unfavorable rumors. But Mayweather has stayed rather silent, occasionally reacting to questions in interviews or on social media with enigmatic remarks. Boxing fans around the world are fascinated by this simmering feud. A fight of egos motivated by power and money is how some perceive it, while others see it as a typical example of a protege outgrowing his master. Whatever the underlying causes, it's obvious that the
that the rivalry between Mayweather and Davis has added a new level of intrigue to the sport. On the other hand, according to the latest report on Thursday, Ellerby's name was featured in the Premier Boxing Champions promotional material independently without any affiliation to Mayweather. This development occurred shortly after Gervonta Davis completely disassociated himself from Mayweather and his enterprise. However, Ellerby appeared to take a clear stance by supporting Davis throughout the Frank Martin Fight Week. Mayweather promptly declared his position a little over a day later, shortly after the concluding press conference, during which Ellerby was labeled merely as a renowned promoter while discussing the Davis versus Martin bout from the podium. Mayweather has named Richard Schaefer, a former advisor, at Golden Boy Promotions as the new CEO. Additionally, Money intends to relocate his headquarters from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. The five-weight world champion said, Mayweather Promotions would like to extend our deepest gratitude to Leonard Ellerby for his exceptional leadership and unwavering dedication. Over the years, Leonard has been an integral part of our team, contributing to numerous business endeavors that have played a pivotal role in the success of Mayweather Promotions. Floyd further added that after years of hard work and dedication, Leonard had made the heartfelt decision to step down as CEO, to spend more time with his family and loved one. Floyd expressed utmost respect for Leonard's decision and gratitude for his leadership, which had helped shape Mayweather Promotions into the thriving organization it is today. He added, As we move forward, we are excited to announce that Mayweather Promotions will be joining forces with Richard Schaefer, a highly sought-after finance expert and a phenomenal founder in the world of promotional boxing with over 40 years of experience combined. Together, we will expand our presence by establishing Mayweather headquarters in Los Angeles. Floyd added that their goal is to elevate Mayweather promotions to global success, supporting fighters worldwide, and assisting them in making rewarding business decisions that would benefit them well beyond their boxing careers. He expressed anticipation for this new chapter and the continued global success of Mayweather promotions. Schaefer's extensive experience contrasts sharply with the current challenges facing Mayweather promotions, notably the departure of several key fighters. The most recent exit is Jahan Ingram, who sought to leave citing a lack of opportunities. His departure follows that of Davis, who left amidst controversy, sparked by social media disputes. Furthermore, boosting the stable and fight night productivity will be the Swiss lawyer's primary responsibility as Mayweather's CEO. Meanwhile, Leonard Ellerby appeared simply as a renowned boxing promoter in the official media event paperwork. The Davis versus Frank Martin bout marks the initial instance where Floyd plays no part in his former protege's career. Ellerby focused on Saturday night's action at the MGM Grand during the news conference, omitting any mention of Floyd. Ellerby said, Saturday night can't get here fast enough. Let's be real. In 2017, Tank was a world champion, and Frank Martin wasn't even a professional yet. One thing about boxing is, you can't skip steps. It's about experience, and you get that by consistently fighting the best. Ellerby added that Frank is a good fighter, but there is a difference between good and special, and Tank is special. He noted that everything Frank does well, Tank does better. He warned that on Saturday night, it could be over early, so spectators shouldn't blink. Ellerby said, Frank is a good fighter, but there is a difference between good and special. Tank is special. Everything that Frank does good, Tank does better. Come Saturday night, don't blink, because this could be over early. Tom Brown, the lead promoter of the show, added, When Tank fights, it's bigger than just a championship fight night. It's like the old days here at MGM with a Mike Tyson event. He'll be defending his WBA title against yet another undefeated challenger in the undefeated WBA-ranked number two contender, Frank Martin. Brown further added, It's very exciting to be part of this 100th championship fight night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena and have this great card to deliver another amazing atmosphere. There's something about this building, and what happens when you walk out of those locker rooms and down that tunnel? It becomes like gladiators in the arena. We know that Ellerby stood by Floyd Mayweather during the early years of the American boxer's rise to fame. While others came and went in Mayweather's circle, he remained a steadfast presence. However, after over 25 years of dedicated service, Leonard Ellerby has chosen to part ways with Pretty Boy. Mayweather transformed him from a corner man in tracksuits to a businessman in suits. Fans are struggling to accept this news and have begun speculating about the legacy of the former CEO of Mayweather Promotions. At the age of 59, Ellerby assumed leadership at Mayweather Promotions nearly 10 years ago. During his tenure, he orchestrated all business dealings, initially for Mayweather Jr. during his competitive years, and more recently, for the stable of fighters. This American entrepreneur oversaw negotiations and directed press conferences with finesse. However, the boxing star began accusing Mayweather of behaving unprofessionally and attempting to divert the spotlight from him as he rose to prominence. Davis ended his association 
situation with Mayweather Promotions after defeating Raleigh Romero in May 2022, choosing instead to pursue his career independently under the guidance of his manager. Initially amicable, their split revealed underlying tensions when Davis was scheduled to fight Ryan Garcia in April. Uh, Set you off and you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said- So every, you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like- he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's weird. I feel like y'all, y'all guys, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just it, Floyd don't never he felt as though I'm about to I'm about to I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.